Chief Meteorologist Nick Jensen. Air quality will continue to be an issue here tonight through the day on Wednesday and probably into early on Thursday morning. Uh, we were in the unhealthy group for all people uh, earlier today with our AQI score approaching 155 earlier this afternoon in Rochester. Right now, last check, we're closer to around 115 to 120. So we're in that unhealthy for sensitive group. So if you have severe asthma, anything like that uh, can uh, definitely trigger some asthma attacks here today with those AQI scores close to around 120. Still in the unhealthy for everyone towards La Crosse and then getting uh, towards Winona, Wabasha, even into Wisconsin at this point in time. This is all from uh, those uh, Canadian wildfires that uh, we have uh, currently. So once again, like I said, we have that uh, air quality index uh, alert in effect until early Thursday morning. As we look at your surface smoke here, we'll see another plume of smoke potentially move in by tomorrow morning. So we're looking at 10 to 11 o'clock. Remember this morning it was pretty thick outside from about 8 o'clock until about the lunch hour and we could see another rush of some smoke and some haze moving in by 11 to noon and then it kind of lingers just a little bit until early Thursday morning. We'll finally kind of have a northerly flow in the lower atmosphere that will push some of that smoke down to our south. So our air quality forecast here coming up the next couple days. Now tomorrow, I think it's a lot like today. There will be some periods where we're really close to reaching that AQI score of 150, meaning we would be in the red, so unhealthy for all groups of people. But as of now, we're probably looking at most of the day in the in the orange there, unhealthy for sensitive groups, moderate levels coming up Thursday and again in a Friday. So that air quality alert in effect until midnight Thursday morning. That's for all of southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Currently outside, we have the hazy skies. Temperatures are in the lower 80s with some sunshine. What to expect here? Those hazy skies continue tonight. Some showers will move in late tonight. Isolated chances for some showers in the morning, straight chance in the evening, and then some seasonal temperatures. Let's talk about that storm chance because there could be some stronger storms in the upper Midwest. The thing is, with the current trends that we're kind of seeing in some of our high resolution models, this dark green where the Storm Prediction Center puts the scattered threat for some stronger storms. I think that will move farther east, probably east to Highway 61, so east in the Mississippi River, looking at more or less into Wisconsin for some of those stronger storms. We do need the rainfall, just not maybe the stronger storms. We have some showers starting to move into western Minnesota. Watch here in future track. We'll see the threat for some showers probably 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Could give us maybe a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain into the morning. We're dry through the afternoon. The question mark in the forecast will be when this boundary moves through, if we have the development with those showers and thunderstorms. Right now, future track keeps that development probably off to the east of Highway 52. So looking at those rainfall amounts again, maybe Mississippi River Valley getting close to a half inch. I think here in Rochester, we're probably closer to about that 10 to maybe a quarter of an inch of rain overnight tonight. Some showers late tonight after midnight overnight lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow we'll have high temperatures in the lower 80s, fairly seasonal temperature wise and the threat for some showers and thunderstorms. Garden Gallery winner here quick. We have Barbara from Rochester. Thanks for sending that in. You win a $10 gift card to sergeants on second. Seven day forecast 84 for the high Thursday, mid 80s continue Saturday and Sunday. Julian. Next in sports.